While picking up groceries this week, Savannah Knopp says her son, Travis, dropped something very important. Um, we're just going through the aisles and my son touched his neck and realized his necklace was gone. Savannah tells me she looked everywhere but couldn't find it. And I freaked out. It's been three days. Savannah says she's worried her son's necklace may be gone forever. No, it's irreplaceable. I just, I don't know. But it's not about money. Where would it go, bro? He's gonna slide off. Catch him at the bottom. Oh about two God. years ago, Savannah tells me the unthinkable happened to her young family. His dad um, passed. October 10th of 2017. It was a homicide that happened back in Long Beach, California. Inside the pendant of Travis's necklace is his father's ashes. Since the funeral, Savannah says her son has worn the necklace every day. I'm just scared that it's being mistreated. That what if someone accidentally opens it? You know, they don't know what's inside of it. Your necklace? Yeah. Little Travis wore the necklace, but Savannah tells me it meant just as much to her. I just feel like I lost him for the second time. The last two years have been tough. Savannah moved to Washington to start a new life with Travis, raising him on her own. He looks exactly like his dad. I can't stand him. <laughs> in a new city and state she doesn't know. But she's finding comfort in the support of her new community. There's been hundreds of comments, at least almost 8,000 shares. She posted about the necklace on Facebook, and just in a few days, it spread fast. It's all over Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. She says people have even offered to look for the necklace. I just couldn't ask for more. Savannah tells me she hopes sharing her story will help bring a piece of her husband back to her family. Someone sees it or someone knows someone who has it or have seen it, just hoping to get it back. <laughs> In Pierce County, AJ Janavel, Q13 News.